Hello everyone, welcome to another video, and today we're going to be doing a video on uh, the riches. It's going to be called 10 Wildest Water Slides You Can't Ride Anymore. So yeah, let's just get into this video. Let's go. I have to go with Regardless of whether you're young or old, water slides are for almost everyone. You always knew summer Almost. was on the horizon when the local water park opened up. Because of the incredible popularity of the water slide, engineers keep trying to make them scarier to the point that you might hesitate to slide down while also providing the biggest thrill. But sometimes, one can go too far and it can result in disaster. Or the park where the water slide resides eventually closes. Here are 10 banned water slides you can't ride anymore. As you're watching, stay tuned for a quiz. Oh, In order to know what the quiz question is, all you need to do is hang out with us. We will reveal the answer at the end so you can check yourself. If you're enjoying sliding around the internet with us, then make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking on that red subscribe button. After you're done with that, give some love to that little gray bell as it will let you know every time we post a new video. Disney's River Country. When it comes to theme parks and family entertainment, Walt Disney World has that department nailed with its five resorts, dozens of hotels, and pure Disney magic. But it took some trial and error to get there. While the massive attraction has numerous water parks today, its original water park called Disney's River Country sits lonely. Opening on June 20th, 1976, President Gerald Ford's daughter took the first ride down the Whoop and Holler Hollow. In August 1980, a young boy accidentally inhaled a brain-eating amoeba while riding the numerous amoeba. water slides at River Country and died. River Country functioned out of two bodies of water. One was a clean swimming pool and the other one was connected to Bay Lake. What water slide goes down to Bay Lake? The whoop and holler. Even though the water was pumped from the lake and into the slide, there seemed to still be a chance for contamination. Eventually, Disney banned swimming in its lakes in the 90s, but River Country stayed open until 2001. Today, the old water park sits abandoned, with everything, including the old water slide, still intact. Disney has hinted that River Country could reopen if there was enough interest and demand, but yet nothing has changed. Fort Rapids Water Park. Fort Rapids Water Park seems to be a hot mess in all sorts of areas. The location also served as a resort in Columbus, Ohio, and it seemed that the owners of the place just didn't care about the upkeep or following the law. With this in mind, now let's talk about the indoor water park. It featured numerous slides for all ages, from tubes to half pipes. But the biggest attraction was the funnel-like slide that sent riders in a whirlwind of speed and fun. According to reports, people were getting sick from the fumes in the water park because of the poor ventilation system. So the chlorine and bleach fumes were being filtered into the hotel rooms. The hotel alone had issues with bed bugs, cockroaches, as well as air quality and improper food handling. There had also been repairs that took place without permits, as well as numerous fire code violations. It was so bad that the Columbus police made the decision to close the resort down until further notice as a safety precaution to the public. If you were hoping to check out the water slides at Fort Rapids after the land was auctioned off, the park and the resort are now permanently closed. Cannonball Loop in Vernon Township, New Jersey, Action Park was in business from 1978 to 1996. The quality of the attractions was a bit sketchy, but teenagers got the thrill of their lives on the rides. At the park alone, there were six fatalities throughout the course of its existence. Half of the fatalities were from drownings that happened at the wave pool, while the others were from the shock of the cold water, an exposed wire that was touched while kayaking, and a head injury on a luge. But probably one of the most dangerous attractions of all was the Cannonball Loop. It was so dangerous that park employees had to be paid off to ride the water slide and prove that it was safe. It was so dangerous that it was only open for one month in one season and then abandoned. The problem with Cannonball Loop was that the loop was in a perfect circle. Most roller coasters and other water slides have their loops in ovals or corkscrews because the way the ride deals with physics and gravity. Basically, the g-force of the Cannonball Loop could cause you to break your neck. Test dummies that rode the slide came out with missing limbs, making everyone uncomfortable with the thought of riding the slide. Storm. Orlando, Florida is no stranger to theme parks, with Universal Studios and Walt Disney World being a hop, skip, and a jump away from each other. One of the most well-known water park chains is Wet n Wild, which has locations all over the world. The park opened its Orlando location in 1977 and closed on December 31st, 2016. Universal <coughs> Orlando owns...
to the property, and they made the decision to close down the park in order to build a 4,000-room hotel. They will also open a new water park called Volcano Bay, which is rumored to feature some of the original wet and wild water slides with contemporary updates. Day by day, the city of Orlando is watching every water slide get demolished piece by piece. One slide that recently came down was called Storm, and it was a set of two funnel-like slides where the rider slides in a circle until it reaches the middle, kind of like getting flushed down a toilet. People who have ridden Storm have complained of hitting their heads on the side as well as hurting their backs due to the g-force. As Storm came tumbling down amidst construction and demolition equipment, there will likely be a replacement at Volcano Bay that is similar, but hopefully those physics kinks are worked out. Wild Rapids Water Slide Park Would you still go on a water slide knowing it hasn't been maintained or renovated in a while? Depending on how big it is, probably not. There's a lot that can happen, from sliding off the side, the structure falling apart, contracting diseases, and more. 2016 marked the final season for the Wild Rapids Water Slide Park, located in central Alberta. The water park had been operating for 34 years and had water slides called the Body Blaster, as well as the Octopussy, which was named after the James Bond film. Some of the oh. most popular water slides were named after the Japanese method of deliberately ending one's life, like the kamikaze and the harakiri. These slides were tall and fast and required mats to go down them. The other extreme class water slide was the sidewinder, which was a half pipe slide where you could go down with a one to three person tube depending on whether or not you want to go solo or with friends. If the park wanted to continue operating, they would have to close for a season plus increase the prices of their tickets in order to cover all of the expenses. Officials from Wild Rapids stated that this wouldn't be feasible and felt it would make the park less affordable for families. Well, you've made it to the quiz. Here's your question. How tall is the tallest free fall water slide? Stay tuned to the end of the video for your answer. Calypso Water Park. If you want to go to a water park and know that you're going to have not only a fun, but a safe time, maybe Calypso Water Park isn't your place to go. Between numerous safety violations due to negligence, poorly trained staff, and complaints with water slides like the steamer and the bobsleigh, one has to wonder who is running the joint. Not only that, but if those running the place even care about the safety of their customers. In 2013, the park was faced with 20 different charges by Ontario's public safety regulator. 14 of those charges were related to incidents on the steamer water slide. Three of the charges were from when a man fractured his skull on the bobsleigh, and the other three came from the ride Pirate's Aquaplay. After dealing with the court proceedings, Calypso was found guilty of six of those charges, which is still pretty significant for a park. Technically, the steamer doesn't exist anymore in the park, but there's a pretty suspicious slide called the Acid Test that bears a striking resemblance. Calypso has been the receiver of a lot of criticism as well as accusations of being willfully ignorant of safety <coughs> precautions and such, which isn't great advertising for the company. Company. Rushmore Water Slide Park. While seemingly outdated, the old water parks from the 70s and 80s have a certain charm to them that can't be replicated in our contemporary water parks. Located in Rapid City, South Dakota, the Rushmore Water Slide Park was in operation for 30 years before it closed in 2014. During the park's three decade existence, it had a celebrity visit from Sheryl Crow, and people from all over the world came to visit the park. One of the most popular attractions was the Bonsai Slides. According to visitors, you could get a lot of air on these slides if you angled your body the right way. Of course, this leads to potential safety violations and maintenance needs to prevent the dangerous horseplay. With so much history and being an iconic local landmark, why did the park close? At the end of the day, it would be more expensive to fix the slides and remain open. It just goes to show just how expensive the water slide business has become. When the announcement of the park's closure went public, people felt they were losing a Rapid City icon, which many of the residents grew up with during their summers as kids and teenagers. Splashdown Park. If this water park looks familiar, then you might have been a fan of Blink-182 at some point. Why? Splashdown was one of the sets for the band's music video, First Date. But despite having a celebrity presence in its history, that wasn't enough to save Splashdown Park from closing down. The park <coughs> first opened in 1984 and was built by Tom Oliver and his father and brother. Oliver made a deal with Atassawasan First Nation so that he could buy the unused land, which was by an old RV park. It turned out to be one of the best business decisions of Oliver's life as Splashdown boomed after opening. However, times have changed in the water park business, and Oliver said that people don't favor buying body slides anymore and prefer using rafts. Given that Splashdown is more old-fashioned, once the lease went up, 73-year-old Oliver chose to close up shop, <coughs> but executive hotels and resorts established a 99-year lease with the land's owners and have completely renovated the park. But if you expect to see the old slides, the new park, now called Big Splash Water Park, now has only new attractions. The company is also planning on building a boutique hotel next door as well. Verrucht Slide 
In Kansas City, Kansas, the Schlitterbahn Water Park faced a PR nightmare after a 10-year-old Caleb Schwab lost his life in August 2016. Caleb was riding the Verrucht water slide with two other women when he was decapitated in what could only be described as a freak accident. The two other women suffered from minor facial injuries. According to reports, the raft's harnessing system wasn't working properly. The Verrucht is 168 feet tall and was proclaimed to be the tallest water slide in the world according to the Guinness Book of World Records. It was the only time that the Schlitterbahn water park had an incident like this. They eventually settled with Caleb's family and got the court's permission to demolish the water slide. According to officials at the water park, they felt it was the only right thing to do after the tragedy. However, as of April 2017, the slide is still standing, but no one is obviously allowed to ride it. This isn't the first time the slide has seen drama. Its opening was delayed back in 2014 because the rafts kept flying off the side after numerous test rides. Perhaps that should have been the first sign that the water slide was doomed. Thunder River Rapids People go to theme parks and water parks to have a good time and escape from the stresses of the real world. So when a tragedy occurs, it not only <coughs> ruins the trip, but can also ruin people's lives. Thunder River Rapids is located in a theme park called Dream World. And while it is not your traditional water park attraction, it's still a water slide that uses a raft to get the riders through the experience. Dream World is located in Australia, and they faced a media storm after four people lost their lives on the slide in October 2016. Two people were thrown from the raft, while the other two were trapped inside. Police also stated that the people were injured from the conveyor belt that pulls the raft out of the water. When the people were examined, their injuries were described as not consistent with life, which means they must have been pretty graphic. After the tragedy, Dreamworld shut down completely so they could properly inspect all of their rides to ensure their safety. But Thunder River Rapids has no hope of ever reopening. As the executive director announced, the ride would be closed and demolished out of respect for the victims' families. According to officials, the decision was made because it felt like the right thing to do. How tall is the tallest freefall water slide? If you're thinking of Verrucht, you need to expand your horizons to something a little more magical. The tallest freefall water slide is 164 feet tall and is called Kilimanjaro, oh. located in Barra do Pirai in Brazil. We hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to check out our other videos while you're here. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to our channel as well, especially if you've ever ridden on a water slide. Don't forget to click on the gray bell as well. Oh, hey, that rhymed. See you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, so, yeah, that was the video. And I right off right there. I'm going to do it right now because literally I tried to do it with this and it's not working. Uh, so see you guys next time. Bye.